Today I'm going to be speaking to a very inspirational young lad's dad um, about his battle uh, with leukaemia and meeting the whole West Ham squad and it's been well documented uh, amongst the West Ham social media platforms. Many West Ham fans would have seen the video but if you haven't, uh, take a look to refresh your memory uh, and, we, and we'll be back in a second. started playing. It's uh, been a very special day for Buster, uh, getting to uh, meet Manu Lanzini again and then the entire squad, it was way more than we were expecting to happen today, it's just been brilliant. Just amazing. This this whole day has been amazing, really. And um, Buster's dad, Matt, joins me now. Matt, when Matt, when I watched just that little clip back, I can't help I can't help myself but smile with it. Um, how are you, firstly? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm very good. I'm very pleased to be invited to come and talk to you yourself. No, thank you very much uh, for joining me. So before we start, um, um, before. Before we start talking about the day uh, that we've just seen there, um, talk to us about Buster. Talk to us a little bit um, about him and um, and the conditions um, he's got and the story that he has. Well, Buster is, you know, I mean, every parent thinks this, but he's a he's a he's a very special boy. But he uh, he's he's been through a lot the last year or so, uh, or t t two years almost. So he uh, he has a type of. Uh, leukemia AOL leukemia called Philadelphia positive which is uh, quite rare in kids it's more common in adults it's quite it's trickier to treat as well and uh, he he was diagnosed totally out of the blue we didn't know that he was ill uh, he just had he had a blood test one day and then the next day there was an ambulance outside our door uh, so and he embarked on some quite uh, trailblazing treatment which is something that's not quite covered in that video uh mm -hmm. but he uh as far as we know he's the first kid in the uk with his diagnosis to try this certain type of immunotherapy treatment in front line and it's gone brilliantly and it's gone it's gone so well that great Ormond street are offering it to other kids now sort of based on his results which is just amazing you know so uh he's a special boy i mean he's a you know he's he's my hero really no, brilliant. Um, so, so, what? So, when West Ham first got in contact, how did that, of course, come about? Because yeah. I think they visited uh, you and Buster at the hospital. That's right. Yeah. So we were. So uh, we go. So we go to Great Ormond Street for all, all the big sort of treatment stuff. But we generally were in Newham Hospital, which is just around the corner from us, and of course, it's not that far from West Ham territory. And the players, uh, as far as I know, always used to go in at Christmas, and then that stopped for a bit during covid uh due to lockdown restrictions and whatnot and then we got a call um it was it was like middle of december and we got a call and buster was in the next day to have chemotherapy and he uh we got a call saying look some west ham players are coming in can you bring him in a bit early uh might be able to meet him and so we took him in and it was a total surprise we didn't know who was coming in we didn't know what was happening and then suddenly this whole squad of um you know, like media people and cameramen and all this sort of social media admin and all that stuff turned up with uh, Lanzini and Baptiste. And suddenly we, and so we brought Buster out into the corridor and he met his players and it was amazing. It was this really beautiful moment. And it was this really nice thing where they'd sort of gone and Buster was sort of quite emotional about the meeting because it had been such an amazing surprise. And uh, my partner, Eloise, ran back out to see if the players were still around. And they were, and Lanzini came back in to see Buster again in the room, and there was this really nice moment, and that's the bit that you see in the video where they were hugging in the hospital, and it was just this really lovely, touching moment. 
so then, yeah, so then they got back in touch. And I think that sort of moment had been so special. The, um, the brilliant supportive services team got back in touch and then asked if we would, uh, you know, would we like to come and meet the players again at Rush Green and would you like to be a mascot and all that sort of stuff. So it's been, they've been, I can't say enough good things about the club really in mm. terms of how they've, how they've treated him. No, no, you know, when we see instances like this, you know, and just the, and just a couple of videos we've seen and the, the social media coverage, not only does it, you know, sort of, um, you know, help you, help you, help you and the family, but it gets it, it gets out for the club as well. And as you've seen over the last um, few days, the outpouring from West Ham fans um, has been, has been quite brilliant. And, and, you know, when yeah. you went to uh, Rush Green, what were you firstly exper- uh, you know, expecting from the day, you know, knowing you were going back? Uh, we I didn't really know what what to expect really. I just thought, I mean I, I was hoping that Boston might get to have a little kick around, and uh, you know we get to. I thought we were going to see Lanzini again, and we might get to shake hands with one or two of the players. But it was incredible. It was just a total like the whole thing was such a brilliant surprise. I mean for me as much as him as well. I mean we got to meet everyone. Yeah. They were all brilliant. Like, I, I mean, the players were amazing. I mean, everyone was amazing, like behind the scenes staff and all that stuff as well. Mm. But um, just in terms of, uh, like, every player came up to him, shook his hand, or gave gave him a hug, talked to him, made him feel like, you know, he was welcome. Like, made him feel like he was special. You know. So they they were all just absolutely fantastic. I you know, it was it wasn't just the sort of walk around and shake hands and you know say like they would they just they've made such a fuss of him so yeah it was fantastic yeah and i think that came across uh, came across quite well um in the video as yeah. well and just you know, for what we saw there you know paquette was having a little dance with him and i was you know hello yeah. how are you and and you know it yeah, it yeah. just it just seemed like the players were there and it wasn't a token gesture they cared and it was um and it was really yeah. it was really really lovely lovely to see so from what we saw in the video was there anything else like the whole experience the whole day so um what else sort of happened yeah well we uh, i mean we got the proper tour of of the, of the rush green facility and it, i mean I, it, it's amazing there like to a proper state <laughs> it's really really nice you know it's really cool so we just got the whole tour you know we were in the gym in the um this sort of massage room the t- t- treatment room i should say um there was this other cool bit where they've got like this uh i think they call it like a technical table a technical table so it's like a table tennis table it's like curved and they're sort of practicing ball skills over it and buster got to have a go on that as well which was really good um yeah and you know the boot room the changing room and we would i mean we got the, the, the whole tour and then david Moyes turned up and insisted on giving us a, a personal tour of the place himself as well, which was amazing. So, so oh, you know, brilliant. so we walked around with Moyes for a bit as well, who was just brilliant with Buster as well. And then after that, he, um, you know, we got to have a kick about with the players, which was fantastic. Um, and yeah, that was kind of, you know, that was kind of it. But I was just blown away with how much they did for him and how welcome they, yeah. they made him feel. Yeah. If you were to speak on behalf of yourself and Buster, what do you think he and and what would you say was the best moment of the day? Um, I guess it has to be when he was having a kick about because that was the thing he was most he was yeah. most keen on doing. You know, uh, he um, yeah, because I you know because they, they're training as well. You know, I mean, it's a serious day for them. You know, and the sort of like, the pressure was on the season as well, so their heads in the game. You know, so but I think the fact he got to do that. I mean, just sort of spending the time with Lanzini as well, because I think yeah. there was like a real bond between them. I mean, he he's been Lanzini's been amazing. He was amazing. You know, he was just yeah. like so attentive, so personable. It's all you know. He's I mean, he's got kids as well, so he's obviously you know he sort of understands that you know what Buster is, what, what you know has some sort of empathy for the situation we're in. They don't. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just the whole thing was just it was it was amazing, and we sort of came away quite you know quite emotional about it, I think, because we weren't expecting it to. You know, I didn't know what we were expecting, but and to sort of feel, and it's just been an extension of the support that we felt from the you know get, going to see West Ham. It, it sounds a bit over the top and a bit dramatic, but I genuinely think that going to watch West Ham together has helped us get through childhood cancer. You know, we we only really started going to games once he got diagnosed. I mean, we're, we're sort of new relatively new fans really i mean we live just down a road from the stadium but it's taken us a while to start to go and it's just the whole thing has been like a real 
thing of support for us, you know, it's been part of a community, just meeting other fans, talking to other fans, you know, particularly last season, it was like the ups and downs of the season seemed to mirror the sort of ups and downs of treatment a little bit. And, yeah. and it just helped to, it helped to sort of focus our relationship on something. And we sort of chose mutual heroes on the pitch and all that sort of thing, you know, so um, it's uh the, the you know the day it rushed green it was just like one part of that whole you know mm-hmm. support that we felt from West Ham and also when the video was shared on the social media I've had so many lovely messages you know um, where you know I'm on Twitter under my professional name of Tom and I've had so many lovely messages and lovely tweets and people just reaching out and it's just just been amazing. Yeah, and I think as well, you know, you, you know, you sort of mentioned that going to West Ham sort of helps you um, get through it all. And I think it's a, I think it's a good welcome distraction as well, you know, to get to get yours and to get Buster's mind off of everything that's going on um, and go to yeah. West Ham and just and just a sort of, you know, something something different as well for for you and for him. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's been it's been re- it seems odd to sort of because it does seem over dramatic, but it really has been. I've really felt the support of you know really felt part of that community and and um and it is like a community i mean in, in the area around here i mean you see sort of you know there's west ham stuff everywhere like people have west ham door numbers uh you know and you yeah. see people walking around in the gear and all that stuff so you do feel like in the middle of it but around here and but it has been and you know for every random bloke that i got talking to at the stadium Mm. they've got no idea what those conversations have meant to us that we get to just talk to people and we do get to forget about what's going on for a bit and um we've got to sort of cheer along and you know all that stuff so yeah just uh yeah it has been an amazing an amazing distraction brilliant so what's the so so, so now for buster what's the next steps for him what's what's the sort of going going for going for a plan for buster now uh well uh in term, in terms of treatment he's got just three months left of treatment and then right. he's uh in theory finished finished in terms of West Ham support he's going to be the mascot this Sunday at the Arsenal game so brilliant. big day coming up for him still as well oh brilliant so this Sunday obviously if you're there at London Stadium spot on Buster and go there we go that's Buster as the mascot how much <laughs> is he how much is he looking forward to that yeah, he's 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 pretty pumped about it. I think I'm equally as excited to, to be <laughs> honest. But yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's very much looking forward to it. Oh, that would be brilliant. Um, and do you have a message for the West Ham fans um, after the after the absolute outpour that I've seen and I, uh, and I know you've seen um, of support for Buster? Just, I mean, just a huge thanks really to everyone who's reached out. I don't, it can't, it's difficult to put into words really how much the messages of support mean and you know you know also it's always a bit nervy putting stuff on social media because there's a lot of negativity and a lot of toxicity a lot of there and so, there. yeah and, and do you know what we looked through i was a bit nervous about it i looked through pretty much every every comment on that video on facebook and twitter and it was just all just so nice and just so positive and it just reminds you of this sort of the power of football fandom community and how positive it can be you know as well as sort of negative sometimes so yeah it's just a massive thank you to everyone who's reached out and felt felt you know felt obliged to sort of you know be supportive in that way no I think it's good as well because you know as a as a as a as a sort of fan base we can be divided and we can have a good moan and groan at times but you know when we see yeah. things like this you know it, come together as a family to help you and to help Buster and to help you as a family um and it's you know it is it is it is really nice to see and and proves that we are a family together yeah absolutely yeah yeah I couldn't agree more so uh yeah Matt thank you very much uh indeed for joining me today if you've got anything else you'd like to say or add just come on your irons I suppose and let's hope <laughs> and and let's hope for Buster tomorrow we could try and get something out of Arsenal <laughs> yes absolutely indeed yes. indeed but yeah uh from us come on your irons thank you very much uh indeed Thanks, everybody man. for watching and we'll see you soon thank you very much guys